Assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm your biology teacher, Afsim Ma'am. Hope you all are good. Um, so today we will study about the unit 4.5 that is the heart. Okay. We all know that uh, our the size of our heart is almost about the size of our clench of our fist. Like uh, do this everyone. Clench your fist. This is the size of our heart. Okay. Almost. Almost the size of our heart. Not exactly. So uh, clench of our fist and just look at its size. The heart is about the same size. It is made up of a special muscle called the cardiac muscle. Okay. Its job is to pump blood around your body. It pumps about 40 million times a year and weighs about as much as a grapefruit. Right? The grapefruit, the bunch of a grapefruit, it weights something like about that. Okay. Now, have a look here. Here is the diagram of a heart. The upper part of a heart. Okay. This part is the upper part of the heart. We have four chambers of our heart. How many chambers? Four chambers. We will go inside later. First, look at here. This vein. It is called what? This tube is a vein. It brings blood to the heart from all parts of the body except the lungs. Okay. It carries blood from all the parts of a body but except the lungs. Okay. Now this one. This one is what? These two tubes are called arteries. They carry blood away from the heart to all parts of the body. This tube carry blood. These two tubes carry blood away from the heart to the body. The heart has four, four compartments called chambers. These two upper chambers are called atria. Each one is called atrium. Though, so the singular one is what? Atrium and the plural is atria. These two lower chambers are called ventricles. Okay. So these two lower chambers, uh, chambers are called ventricles and the upper chambers are called atria. Plural is atria and singular is atrium. The heart has its own blood supply carried by the coronary artery and vein. See these blue and red veins? These are what? These are the coronary artery. These are heart's personal uh, blood vessels. Okay? These tubes carry food and oxygen to the heart and carry waste away. They carry food and oxygen for heart and carry the waste that the heart produces away from the heart. Okay? Now, let's look at the diagram. Let me do the diagram of a heart. Okay, so this is just a rough diagram of a heart if we cut it from the middle. Okay, this is the dissected heart if we cut it from the middle like this. If you slice it from here, we can get this diagram. Okay, I just simply, this is just a simplified version. That's it. So you can just to make you people easy. So the upper chambers are called what? Atrium. So the singular is what? Atrium. Tree, um, 
this one is atrium this one is another atrium and the lower one is ventricle ventricle okay so now when whenever you will deal with the heart just think yourself a doctor just think that you are a doctor and this diagram this is your patient's heart so if you see a report that is written that the patient has some problem in his or her right atrium so which one is the right atrium which one is my right this one so is this the right atrium no our right is the other person's left my right is this heart's left so the uh, like my one uh, like the person's right side is just the opposite of my right so this one is the right atrium okay this is the right atrium just delete just like your patient's heart not like your heart okay suppose this is your patient's heart you are a doctor and you're dealing with your patient's heart so this one is what the right atrium and the below one is right ventricle okay fair so if this one is right this one will be what left atrium and the below one is left ventricle fair enough now it's easy right atrium left atrium right ventricle left ventricle okay now see i have drawn okay i'll um, later what are these two entrance this entrance is the way the vessel from where blood from the body will get into the heart okay like the deoxygenated blood d oxygenated blood the deoxygenated blood our body will give the deoxygenated blood to the right atrium then the right atrium will what contract contract means squeeze the right atrium will squeeze or contract this will push the blood to the right ventricle the blood will push to the right ventricle then again the right ventricle contract this push the blood through this vessel to the lungs and in the lungs we will filter our blood we will what filter our blood here the deoxygenated blood becomes oxygenated blood okay uh, let me tell you the meaning of these two terms okay d oxygenated means no oxygen or very less oxygen okay and oxygenated means full of oxygen full of oxygen so the word d whenever you can see this word d this means um like what lack of lack of okay so deoxygenated means lack of oxygen or no oxygen and oxygenated means full of oxygen so the blood that enter our heart in the right atrium is what type of blood deoxygenated blood then we, this right atrium will contract the blood comes to the right ventricle then again the right ventricle contract this push the blood to the lungs here in the lungs our deoxygenated blood converts to oxygenated blood now from the lungs the blood again enter to the heart okay the blood will again enter to the heart from which side from the left atrium from the left side of the heart now here the this blood is full of oxygen oxygen oxygenated blood okay this blood is oxygenated blood now the again the left atrium will contract this push the blood to the left ventricle then again the left ventricle contract then the blood will push through this and finally get out of the body this is a total flow of our blood circulation can you ever 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 imagine how fast this work no we never thought of this okay so this is how the whole heartbeat works now let me tell you an interesting thing 
uh, we all say that the heart beat has uh, like have a sound what that is dhak 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 right this dhak dhak actually have a biological term that is called lub dub this dhak dhak is actually known in the biology as lub dub means when this right atrium push the blood it like hit this wall and they form a first sound lub and then again when this uh, like the blood goes to the lungs and come again to the left atrium and then again the left atrium contract and push the blood to the left ventricle it again forms another sound called what dub so this is the sound that we heard like dug dug it actually the lub dub lub dub okay so this take a very like less of a second like we on um, our normally in one minute our heart beats 70 times 70 times a minute our heart beats 70 times a minute so this is the whole blood circulation process uh, we you can easily jot it down in a flow chart in a simple flow chart how uh, first the blood is in the body okay then body to heart heart to lungs lungs to again heart and heart to again body okay this is a easy flow chart you can always remember this like this is a very is this the detailed way that how the blood becomes uh, like from deoxygenated it becomes oxygenated how the blood lose its carbon dioxide deoxygenated means loss of oxygen and more of carbon dioxide how it lose all its carbon dioxide and become oxygenated like full of oxygen and then again come into the heart and how this whole process work so this is the simple flowchart that you can easily remember uh, the blood goes from body to heart heart to lungs lungs to heart and heart to body again body to heart heart to lungs lungs to heart and heart to body Okay, so this is the first part.